Hey, got a new product review. Just showed up today. Can't wait to dig into it and tell you exactly what it's all about here. So that's coming up next. Hi everybody, Mike Bishop for Tactical POV, and today I'm really excited about this. I, I pre-opened this box or bag of spare package here just, but I haven't taken anything out yet. I just want to make sure uh, what was in here is what was sent to me, and uh, I want to give a shout out to Alien Gear for uh, reaching out to me, and uh, we were impressed by my video I gave uh, the one I just did for the cloak mag carrier. So. They uh, reached out to me and asked me if there's something else if I want to review for them. So the link's in the description. I will put all of these things down. There's a link to where you can go to the website and find this. And uh, I just, like I said, I want to give a big shout out to you guys because honestly, guys, all of my product reviews you've seen on my videos so far, that is all the stuff that I personally own. No company has reached out to me and sent me any product at all to review for them. So Alien Gear is the first company to do that. I have everything I've purchased with my own money out of my own pocket. So that means the Mag Carry, the last one, and everything else that you see on my reviews, I personally own all of that stuff. I bought it and paid for it myself. So this one here, they reached out and sent me out a holster. And it's pretty cool. So let's. I'm excited about that. That's the shipping paper there for it. I have not opened this up yet. Just the uh, just that over there. Just the bag came in package. So you guys can see it. This is pretty cool. So, and and to give you guys a little pointer on what's going on here, because I'm gonna do a quick comparison, because I do own real fast. Show you. This is Alien Gears Cloak Tuck 2.0. Okay, so now I purchased this a couple years ago. So um, I haven't had a chance to do a review on it a couple years ago. I want to get around to it. And uh, actually, I wound up uh, putting this away and uh, was carrying another holster. But I am uh, going to give a good quick comparison here after I open this thing up. Let's take a look. So I had no idea what this is on the inside. Let's look. Let's see here. We have one million fan thank you. This limited time certificate commemorates our achievement of one million Facebook fans. Thank you all for helping us achieve this incredible milestone. Your support means the world to us. This is a uh, package of what I just read. Yeah, it's great. We have hardware. It comes in here. So it's the, the cloak tuck. IWB holster inside the waistband holster. So let's see. And this gear actually, they've Alien Gear has stepped it up, guys. With the uh, with the products here, hardware hardware is still the same as the 2.0. And you get uh, this here. How to adjust your retention instruction card here. Use. Basically, uh, where card also that you get in it explains uh, different positions. Understanding if your first time concealed carry or carrying for the first time at all, when you hear us talk about uh, where you carry as far as either inside the waistband, outside the waistband, depending on where, if you start at noon, one, two, three, four o'clock, it's basically on a clock radius as it shows right here, so it gives you an idea of. When we start saying, I, if I carry it my 3 o'clock or 3.30 or 4, 4.30, whatever, 5, so on and so forth, you know, noon in one position, it being appendix, side appendix, cross draw, obviously would start about the 11 to 10 and 9, that would be a cross draw. So this is basically a card showing you that what we're talking about is showing different angles here. As far as this, I said, I have not looked at this totally all the way. What else is this here? This here is... I do believe, well, let's see, it says Alien Gear Holsters probably supports the National Rifle Association and encourages you to join. Use this card to save up to $40 on a membership. And, of course, you'll get a, once you sign up, 
you'll receive a free NRA duffel bag. Not, not too bad. Looks all right. We do something a little with it. Registration card to join up with. Join the NRA. Guys, should definitely check into that. Seriously, join the NRA. Yep. Ironclad triple guarantee. Now, this is all the Alien Gear, uh, their products, they have a guarantee. What else? And I'm going to read this in a second, but of course you get a nice Alien Gear sticker. You throw on the, uh, on the range bag or your box, whatever. Disclaimer of liability. Kind of standard as uh, pretty much about every product that you get from a good company, big company, reputable company. Uh, ironclad, say 30 day test drive, free shell trades forever warranty and that is one really nice thing about alien gear is the shells like if you ever trade out a gun or anything if you change from say a smith and wesson to a glock or vice versa f and h whatever you do you talk to and you, you contact alien gear and they will trade out your shells if i do remember right from uh, the 2.0 when i bought this a couple years ago they will switch out your shells uh i believe for free i believe that's what it's saying here so yep free shell trades if you ever decide to carry a different handgun and still own your alien gear holster we'll trade your custom shell to match your new gun there you go i don't know of how many companies out there alien gear does this i don't know any other company that does this and i knew this from my uh, previous holster so let's take a look at this bad boy here enough of me jaw jacking about everything else let's take a look see Definitely better construction. Definitely. Compare it real fast. Here's their 2.0. Now the design here as far as dressing up the design, they still have the adjustable washers, your your retention washers for the holsters also under here for, that, that slip in between the holster shell and the neoprene backing. Now this, also they still offer this in the neoprene backing, which this is the neoprene, okay? The neoprene back here. Nice, comfortable wick sweat away, which makes it very, very nice. They also offer it too. Also, we well, got your Alien Gear Insignia now. Now these are different here because this is nice. That's ingrained, that's, kind of, that's more uh, 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 craftsmanship that's really nice right there these si signals are ingrained this is just like uh, electro printed whatever you want to call that you know as far as uh, being crossed not ingrained at all okay the clips are still the same which are nylon clips they also offer this in a leather backing too instead of neoprint if you prefer leather they also offer the nylon clips too in black steel clips so if you want neat nylon clips, you can order nylon or black steel. Better craftsmanship here on the shell itself, which is really, really nice. You can see the comparison difference between the two from the older, the previous model, 2.0, to look at the craftsmanship on that there. That's, that's, that's pretty, very beautiful. Well done. Oh, wow, check that out. Also look at down here, the craftsmanship underneath closed off to the bottom of the pistol that way it keeps lint debris or anything else to possibly jam inside underneath the, on the firearm side if you have that issue as compared to the old it was not there which is pretty cool really nice now also they have the adjustable washers which i did show right here these are your retention washers done very very nice well a, a lot better than their old ones their old ones i don't if I go grab the old ones there, but that's all right. Still the old black rubber washed into the old, as you can see real close. Nice, man. Really, really nice alien gear here. You guys really stepped it up on this model. Definitely stepped it up a lot better. Now, obviously, as you can see, everything is adjustable as far as the ride height and your camp position. Same as the old. Same as some of the other ones here. Now the difference here between the two, as you see, this craftsmanship here is the old. That was the old style. This is the 2.0. 
the fasteners in the back, the lock fasteners there that locked into the holster, that's the craftsmanship, that was what was done to this old one. They stepped it up, eliminated a lot of this extra, and just left you with just the only thing that you need. You don't need the extra metal rubbing against the skin or anything else or catching your clothes, possibly anything like that to give you any type of uh, protection. Dress this up really, really nice with the new version. This is the only thing that you need right here is a lock fasteners here, the nuts here to lock it as far as, far as you said, like I said, with the height, the right height and the cant position, how you want to cant this firearm if you want a little bit more up, if you want a little bit more towards the forward, a more FBI type cant, start leaning it forward, that's perfect for it. So this is pretty good. This is for my 19. Guys, they have it in different models, a bunch of different models. Like I said, you go to the website, and it'll show you, and uh, with, with, and then they'll show you everything. They got the difference in between two of everything else. Also, they also have shells that fit Crimson Trace Defender lasers, also uh, the Laser Guards, and the Viridian, also Laser Guard too. So they have that in certain models. I'm not saying every model. I know for a fact they have it in a Glock. Okay, uh, I believe Smith and Wesson. Let's see. Go to the website now. These start out they also offer this too just like they did this one they still offer the same deal in a combo so you can buy a combo set that means if you want an inside the waistband one and then you order another one from them they're a different when they're outside the waistband you can order that or two inside the waistbands if you want a neoprene or you want a leather backing they do offer that and that starts at saying the combo deal starts at 49.88 up to 78.68 and that depends on the price changes between the two holsters and the options so if you got different options of what it adds for obviously it's going to add a little bit more to it so let's move the old out of the way let's focus back on the new they definitely offer these in different options as i said price varies also okay i don't have the other one to field test as far as the outside the waistband one but Back to what I was saying, so far this looks really, really good. Really good. Nice, definitely better craftsmanship. A better, better looking uh, gear here. And these are very comfortable. Now, I will do an update on this after I field test this and run this for a uh, couple weeks or so, and then I'll get back to you on that and give you my thoughts and opinions on the field test of how it wears. But as I said, when I wore this one, this one was very, very comfortable. There is literally no break-in period with these holsters at all because of, of the, the material they use. They break in pretty much right away as soon as you put it in. They're very, very comfortable. I have a couple of friends of mine who do carry and wear Alien Gear holsters. They love it. They love the holster itself. As I said, the only thing I had a problem with was this. As as I get in and out of my vehicle over time, this is what the problem was. This right through here. And that's, for me, I'm very anal about the position of my firearm. So if I carry strong side, I want my angle to stay the same. I don't want it to adjust because of mind and muscle memory so I know exactly where to reach. This was an issue because this would bunch and it would change the angle of my firearm throughout the day to where it would kind of bunch itself and push it in and it would just change that angle and that's one thing that drove me nuts so hopefully here they re improve that and get in it for from what I feel right here the difference between the two this one the new one it's a little more rigid which is nice which is very nice I want it to be a little bit more rigid to give this this holster a little bit more uh, uh, to make it a little bit more sturdy Okay, so it's not giving you so much give, but it still doesn't take away from the comfort from, like I said, virtually no breaking. So it still gives you that comfort. I'm going to ride this thing out for a couple weeks or so, and then I'm going to get back with an update on it, though. But for right now, I can just tell the difference between the craftsmanship, the cut, the material, everything else. It is a big, big, big improvement. Over their 2.0, this is a really, really good improvement. So, as I said... That's the 3.0. Now they do have the outside the waistband also, and that's 29.88. That goes from 29.88 to 
up to 3488 and that's in a leather I do believe for the leather backing and they also it starts at with the with the other backing with the uh, I'm trying to get a picture up for you guys and show you but it starts at 4788 for the outside of the waistband deal with the with the paddle clip which is a really nice uh, insignia uh, alien gear paddle for it. it looks really really cool so as I said I'll put the link up you guys can go check it out and uh, see what you think it honestly this is definitely worth the money it is worth the money it's, you're not breaking the bank and it's still a pretty decent holster that's if you like the double clip the outside the, the inside the waistband and you like that that tuckable cloak tuck which means it is a tuckable also so it means it means you can tuck your shirt on the outside right here when this is on the inside you can tuck your shirt or anything around it cover it up either way it's very very nice like I said over uh, the past couple of years and this and this has been out guys I believe this came out last year I bought this the old 2.0 two years ago a little over two years ago actually so but from what I can tell here this is definitely a, like I said a huge improvement so I'm not gonna drag this thing out but guys give it a try check it out for the money seriously look into the options if you want a combo deal the combo deal is definitely worth the money also so you've got plenty of things to look at here and they've got a wide variety of uh, different firearms that they carry for it's anywhere from 1911s Glocksmiths F and H CZs all of them guys look them up they've definitely got they got it pretty much covered just about everything I saw so far so this is a good company to look into alien gears holster if you don't know about it now you do if you got any questions or anything else about it man just look at this company they definitely uh they definitely went back to the drawing board did their homework on the previous products so guys alien gear you guys look like you're kicking a little tail you're kicking some tail with this especially for the bang for the buck so guys this is mike bishop for tactical pov saying being armed is a mindset, not just a physical condition.